Hello guys and welcome back to a brand new video here today upon my channel guys. Today my friends, we're diving back into Spyro 1 Remastered my friends. Well, Spyro the Dragon Remastered I should say. Uh, but Asitas, we're carrying on with our well with the rest of our playthrough. Asitas, this is part 4 to the playthrough now. I'll leave a link down below in the description to the previous parts in case you missed any of them. And also there will be a playlist on the channel guys where you can check out all the parts that I've done in this game and much much more. Obviously, I will be doing Spyro 2 and Spyro 3, which is obviously like a packaging that you get with this game. So obviously, it's all three of the original games being remastered together. I will be doing part like the second game and the third game at a later point, though. So make sure you look out for that, guys. So if you want to see more Spyro, it's coming soon, okay? Nasty North is turning our swamp into an electrified jump heap. <sighs> and it used to be so beautiful. I'm sure it was. I just see too, when it comes to um, future games that I want to do on the channel, guys, I'm thinking of doing Resident Evil games soon. And a part of me really wants to start doing God of War as well. Because it's a game that I've had for a while. I remember having it like, I think it was about two years ago as a gift of my uh, Uncle Darren. He brought it me, and I was just like, I haven't played it yet. <laughs> So I was just like, I need to, I need to get around to like, you know, eventually making videos on it. And it's something that really caught my eye at the time. And I was like, obviously, I got over time, I've been distracted with making videos and other things, but I do need to make videos on it. So I'm thinking of playing God of War soon. If that's a good choice and you would like to see a playthrough on that, let me know down below in the comment section. Or if you have any game suggestions of your own, drop them in the comment section, okay? Because I've got a lot more still to come. And obviously, depending with work and stuff, I'm going to try to get more videos out on a daily basis. But if work gets a little bit too busy, there might be a day where I might not upload, but upload the next day and stuff. It's just because, obviously, it is a really, really busy time, obviously, in the moment in time in the world, obviously, because, obviously, we've got the COVID-19 on. I've got still got work. I've got two channels to operate and much, much more. So, Asitas, I will try to keep giving you constant content, guys. Yeah, boy. Come on. Got Mr. Zappy here. These guys have, like these electric sword things literally look like they got like lightsabers. Like Star Wars or something. Oh my god. So we need to charge them. And then the guys with the le like, electric sword things, we need to uh, flame them. So, I need to remember that. Sparks needs some more butterflies to eat. <clears throat> oh, that'll do. No duns. I thought you'd actually start eating that. My bad. We need to find something you can eat. Yeah. Hang on. Let's get rid of all these. So yeah, let me know what you guys have been up to today. Hopefully you're all safe and well and having a marvellous day. Let's see, so as for me, I've got, got quite a few videos I need to record before I go to work. So let's see, it's going to be a busy one for me today. I mean, I'm looking forward to next week. At the time, obviously, at the time of recording this video, I'm looking forward to next week because obviously I've got five days off work, which is always my favourite time of the of each month. Because with my work rotor, it's, a, it's an interesting work rotor. It's alright, where... We have like a week, like you have like a certain amount of days in, and it gets divided into like certain days off. Then the following week we have like a split week, which I end up having like Tuesday and Wednesday and Saturday off, and the rest of the days working. And then my favorite one of each month is my five off, which is my, like my basically a long weekend. And if you're not familiar with that term, it is basically where I work four days, so I work like Sunday to Thursday, and then from Thursday to the following Tuesday I have off work. And it's my favorite time of each month because obviously during that time I would normally be out spending time with family or making loads of videos and stuff and catching up on sleep and stuff because as you guys know I lose out on a lot of sleep. But the seat is I normally make a lot of videos during them time periods, as well as you know, before I go work and Watch stuff, out, so the Norks in these parts have discovered the power of electricity and it really stays. Okay. 
Okay. <clears throat> well, so we need to take these out. Need to be careful. Come at me, bro. Keep collecting these gems. Oh man, we need something to destroy them. There might be a, a power up ability somewhere or something I can use, or unless there's like fireworks or something that we can light, and then obviously they'll go and destroy them. It could be. Is that going to destroy them? Ooh, it's true one of them. It's just a shame he hasn't destroyed both, you know what I mean? Oh man. I tried to charge him then, but he got me. Literally just caught me off guard. I need to make sure I don't get hit now because I will die. Yeah boy. Come on. We need to take that other guy first, personally. There we go. It's easier to take the other guy because he was closer to me. So, so good. Right, it's free, um, criping. Good job, Sparrow. One day you'll be able to tell all the dragons about your amazing... Oh, Sipin, sorry. Cyprin. Sure, but what I'd really like to do is get out of this swamp. <laughs> so we freed all the dragons, which is good. Got a proper charge through this. Nice. I didn't have much faith in myself then. I thought it was gonna literally die then, but fair play. Nice. Hang on. So we got a little nosy around just in case. Okay, so it's a good job we didn't walk off that edge then, because we would have ended up dying. Some gems. Nice. Come on, bro. I want this and I want that. See, so yeah, I could end the level right now or I could try and get the remainder of the gems. Might have a little look around in case there's any other areas I haven't been to. But if I can't find what I'm looking for, I'll just end the level. You know what I mean? If I have to make like a rough guess of how far we are through the game, based off, you know, what, what I can remember of the original game, I think we're like, I think there's like one or two more worlds after this to do. I think there is. So, I think, look, we could probably say we're just over halfway through the game. That's like on the rough estimate, you know what I mean? Which, it's mad to think that, you know what I mean? But I'm just looking forward to doing more great games like this in the future, you know what I mean? Like I've mentioned for other videos so far, we'll be doing the other two Spyro games in the future. Uh, number two is my most favourite one, so I've got a lot more childhood memories with um, Ripto's Rage, I think it was called. Um, but Asita's, I'm looking forward to that one, just to be able to re-experience that one and, and these stunning graphics. and. Obviously there's a lot more games I want to try in the future, I want to bring to the channel and Obviously, I'll give you, you know, I'll tell you some of the games I'm thinking of doing, and then if you like this, you know, like the suggestion of games I mentioned, or you want to add to it with some of your favorite games, then just let me know. I'm thinking of doing the Resident Evil games um, because I feel like, obviously, since we've done zero on the channel, I'd like to do one, two, three onwards, and obviously, I'd like to, obviously, like mentioned, do the rest of the Spyro games, and 
more remake games like in general I'm thinking more remakes or also I want other games that have got really good like great stories to them so from what I've heard of people God of War has got a good story to it and Battlefield games apparently got amazing storylines to them so I'm thinking maybe we can experience them bear in mind I'm a cop player so I don't really play much Battlefield so it would be nice to you know play some Battlefield and experience what these campaigns are like and then I'm thinking in the future for both channels I will redo the uh, campaigns for both channels on the COD games so things like Modern Warfare Remastered, Infinite Warfare and stuff, we could do them for both channels in the future if that's something we'd like to see and just stuff like that really but we can take it back, you know what I mean, all the way back to the really really like original games like Call of Duty 1 and stuff but it's all down to what you guys would like to see in the future, okay? If you have any game suggestions, just drop them in the comments section and I'll get around to playing your favourite game in the future, okay? What, one mission down already? I think there's only like four missions in this world. Something like that, three or four missions, so hopefully we can get through these, you know, fairly easily. And move on to the next world. I like as well that all the levels, you know, they're near to each other, so you haven't got to go like on a massive adventure just to find a level. I've got a dragon statue over there as well. Got the balloonist over there. You know, let's just collect some treasure. Need as many gems as we possibly can. There's one thing I was thinking about doing in the future. Obviously, I think I've mentioned this before in all videos, but would you would like would you like me in the future, like in the long run, maybe in about a year or so from now, would you like me to play the original versions of these classic games, like the original Spyro from from the PlayStation One and stuff? Would you like that? Because if you would, I could you know I could do it in the future. Obviously, I want to do the remakes first because you know they're the beautiful to look at and. I like remakes, you know what I mean? I like remakes of classic games that I experienced when I was a kid. Like, there's one game that stood out to me recently, and I saw a trailer of it. I think it was literally yesterday, uh, was the Streets of Rage 4 trailer. And I saw that, I was like, wow, I used to play the original three games when I was a kid. But if they ever remaster them, I will be 100 billion percent playing them. You know what I mean? Because they were so good back in the day. But we could play the original games if you'd like to. You know what I mean? If you would like to see that, just let me know. That was the whole purpose of this channel, because I remember looking through all my old videos, and I thought about this last week. I was like, what was my main dedicational goal for this channel? And I thought, well, my main channel with Call of Duty and Realm Royale, I know we haven't really uploaded much Realm Royale on that channel recently, because the fact is, it's kind of dead with content at the moment. Like, they, I know they got these, like, weekend game modes and stuff on it, but they don't really draw it out to me. And obviously, I've got a few skin gameplays that I'm saving for future videos because I want to, you know, have more more reasons to keep playing it. So I'm kind of waiting for more content to come to round before I can start uploading a few more videos on it. That's why I've been making a lot more videos on COD Mobile. And obviously, with COD Mobile, we've got a new season. We've got season 6 at the time recording this video, which is just amazing so far. Which I'm really am loving, which you'll see more videos on in the future. And then... For this channel, I thought to myself, well, when I first set it up, because remember, this this channel was like in planning for like a year before it actually became a thing. And I was like planning loads of things out what I wanted this channel to be. And it's more about let's plays, fan made games, early builds of games, betas, and stuff. And I, don't, I feel like I've accomplished that goal so far. <clears throat> but now I want to, as a content creator, I want to extend on that goal. So I want to give you more content, more great playthroughs. Try, take myself out of my comfort zone completely to experience new games altogether. Be on the lookout for attack frogs. They are cold-blooded killers. Attack frogs? And this used to be such a nice swamp. Oh, look out for these frogs. Oh, they're all over there. <laughs> Right. 
it. So yeah, I feel, I feel like if, um, I'm going to, I'm trying to obviously extend on that goal. So I want to give you more let's plays, more content, which is why sometimes, you know, I will upload more on a daily basis. Sometimes I will get even more videos out there to you all. Sometimes, you know, I'll only be able to upload the one, just depending on how busy I am. But on my days off, I'm more dedicated to try and give you more and more and more and more content. Especially during all this lockdown situation anyway with the COVID-19, you know what I mean? I've got more excuses to be indoors, boys. <laughs> Dragon statue. Thank you for releasing me. You're very welcome. As for me, I just want to get off this level. <laughs> Got some creepy frogs at the moment. See this animal here that I've just burned? He reminds me of um, Pumba from. The Lion King. I don't know why, I literally just, as soon as I saw the animal, I was like, that's Pumba. From the Lion King, literally is. Let me know down below in the comment section, does that remind you of Pumba from the Lion King? Come on. Racking up on all them gems, boys. That's what this guy's gonna say. Bubba. I'll tell you what to do with those creatures. Smash them, Spyro! Stamp them out and squish them and squash them! <laughs> <laughs> How about charge them and flame them? We are dragons, after all. Nice. See, there's one thing as well that I really, really do appreciate that the developers have done. If you ever played the original games, when you like used to free the like the dragons and stuff from the statues, you used to just you literally loot like different versions of the same dragon over and over again. Like they'd have like basic like sayings. Some of them were very basic, and they just looked like they were just a different color of a dragon that you've already rescued. But in this version of it, it's like they've given a whole new sort of like life to them. Like they're all they all feel very unique and different. Like as if it is a completely different dragon each time, and I like that. I like how they've done it. Oh my god. I just got absolutely slayed there. Fair play. <laughs> oh man. Watch out for the attack frogs. Yeah, you weren't kidding, bro. You weren't kidding. See, we could return home, but I want to go up in that area. Let's have a little look around before I leave the area anyway. Right, so let's go up here. Nice little secret area this is. I like this. No! Ah! Leave me alone! Let's do this. I should have just charged them all down in one go, but I kind of screwed that up. See, Aaron Cooper is still a newbie noob, okay? Please forgive me. Yeah. 
If you did play the original Spyro games or you played this remake, like the uh, the three games, like the remakes of the three games, then let me know what your favourite levels are in each of the games. Like in this game, for example, in Spyro 1, what is your favourite level? What's your favourite world you'd like to go to? Me personally, I, I've always liked the Artisan's world and the, um, is it the Magic Crafter's world? They're my favourites. Out of all the worlds within the Spyro one. In the Spyro 2, my favourite area that I like to go to is when you're inside the castle because it's just so beautiful. You know what I mean? It's just, it's just amazing. But for worlds, I think my favourite one on this one is in the first world. I think it's called Hollow Knight or something. It's like a nighttime one with a little campfire on it. That that's my favourite one. Oh my god, I just got killed by a frog. <laughs> with a rainbow tongue. In Spyro 2, I think my favourite one has to be with the baby turtles when you have to stop them stop the chef from eating the baby turtles. Then that has to be my favourite one, but I'm looking forward to seeing how that's going to look when it comes to the remake, because I haven't seen how it looks yet, boys. I really want to see it. Oh my god. I'm dying, boys. You need to be careful. Alright, let's we'll switch out for this frog. Oh my god. No, leave me alone. Oh my god. Bro. Destroy my sparks, you know what I mean? Another dragon statue. Okay. A demon. Thanks for releasing me. It seems like I've been trapped in here since I was your age. Oh no. Why? I remember uh, uh Gotta go. Hmm. Alright, so we need to get back into the map. <clears throat> That's a good glide, I'm not gonna lie, that was a pretty good a good glide. I can't get my words out today. Alright, so we need to get across here. Oh man, I don't think we're going to make that. No. I tried. Okay, I did try. Just try and like shortcut it and everything, but it's okay. You don't know these things until you try them. If I had like a sparks with me, I think it would have been alright, but I would have to sacrifice my sparks just to get across there. There we go. Alright, so we need to get on here. And we're good to go now, boys. Just want a little, a little nosy around, just in case there's anything I've missed here. I know I've missed a few things, but... I just want a little, little nosy around in case the little obvious things. Guess we can just get out of here. It's another mission done. Well, another level done, I should say. I'll tell you one thing I am looking forward to as well, guys, and I'm pretty sure a lot of you guys out there are in the same situation as me. Um, but when the lockdown is gone in the UK and stuff, and things start reopening and stuff, I am really am looking forward to going to the barbers because man, my beard's getting long, my hair's getting a bit longer. I've had to comb it over, and some days I have to wear a hat when I'm going to work just to keep my hair in place because it's just getting a bit too long now but people have been saying I should keep the beard apparently it really suits me I should keep the beard late grow longer but I want to know what you guys think should I keep the beard or should I get rid of the beard or just trim it down a bit okie dokie 49 dragons so far. <laughs> you 
your boy needs all that treasure. Ooh, wild flight. Man, I hate these levels. This is another one of flying levels. Oh, screw it. Just skate done and get out of the way. <laughs> you know I hate these levels, boys. I hate them. Uh, as soon as I see flight in the name, it's like, yeah, I know what's coming. Just get out of the way. Let's just do it and get it out of the way. Oh, this is the one with the boats. Nearly died straight away there. Alright, another plane. Cheeky. Come on. Oh. Damn it, bro. Damn it, damn it. I'm losing precious time. Where is everything? I don't know where everything is. Oh, another plane. Nice. Ah, oh, I failed. Failed. Straight up fail, boys. Ah. It's alright though, we can give it another go. Damn it, why did they go into the war? See, these are the sort of things that I have issues with when it comes to these sorts of levels. I, I really struggle at them. I, I want to get good at them. Don't get me wrong, I really, really do. I want to get really good at them, but... I don't know. I've struggled with them since I was a kid. And it's just the only type of levels in Spyro games that I've always struggled with. I think as well, it's like... It's just one of them things. I think each video game... <clears throat> every video game that you ever play... There's always going to be something that really... Like... There's always going to be a level or an item or a quest in a game or something like that that is always going to bugger you, like proper bugger you or going to annoy you which I find that in most games I play at least, you know what I mean? Maybe not every game but most games and in this game it's always the flight levels Come on Missed it completely. <laughs> Man, I'm a newbie noob. Newbie noob. Alright, that's two done. I don't think I'm gonna do this, boys. There's a good chance if we just keep if we keep going and don't screw up. Come on. Come on, we can do this. Let's keep going. Keep going. Another plane. Another one. One more. One more. One more. Where is it? Where's the plane? Where is it? Oh. Ah, oh, bro. It was one plane off. Literally, if I saw that plane a little bit sooner, we could have done that. That's our best attempt at this one so far. It's all good though. We'll just keep going. Just keep gotta keep keep at it. We will eventually do it. Always believe when you're playing video games or anything in life, no matter how difficult something can be, just keep going, keep trying, keep doing your best, and eventually you'll accomplish it. Okay? It's always been something I've always stick, stuck with when it comes to video games and most things in general in life, you know what I mean? Whether it's a life goal or something, you keep at it, you'll always will eventually achieve what you want to achieve. It just takes time. Sometimes it takes people longer than others, but it's just one of them things, boys. You just got to keep at it and don't give up. I definitely screwed this up. <laughs> Spent too much time just flying around. It's alright though. We'll just give it another go. Come on. Nice. 
Nice. Another one. Another one. Ooh, another one, another one. Oh no, I missed it, missed it. It's alright, we'll go for this one. We'll go double back on the cells, we'll go round. Cheeky. One more plane. Right, we need to get out of this area. Oh my god. We need to get to them boats. I think it's this way. Ooh. Oh, we're still in the game. Come on, come on. We just clutched that. We proper clutched it. Come on. We can do it. Come on, Aaron. Get the boat. Gotta keep going. Gotta go, gotta go, gotta go. Oh my god, we might do this. Come on. Come on. One more. Yes! We've done it, boys. We've done it. We had literally 1.4 seconds remaining. And we smashed it. We proper clutched it just to manage to get into that last area as well. Proper, proper clutched it. I mean, I didn't think I was going to do it at first, but man. Told you, boys. Keep at it. We will accomplish it. We will do this, okay? And if it takes time. Failure is not a word in Aaron Cooper's dictionary, okay? It's just practice. Practice and de determination. And there's another pumba. And another one. Come on. Yeah. Gotta love a fry pumba in the morning. Alright. Uh, ooh, got a level around here. Well, I think we should go in there, boys, in just a moment. Just the uh, treetops. Let's go. I think there might be one more mission after this. I think there is. One or, one or two more missions. I think there's one more. I think. I'm not 100% sure. It's either one or two. Um, but once we get through there, we'll move on to the next world. But if you enjoyed the playthrough so far, guys, and you're enjoying this part, then all I ask, guys, is that you give this video a big fat thumbs up and subscribe if you do. Make sure to turn on the post notification icon and notify you when not load any new content in the nearby future. So by smashing that sub button, you really just help me out a lot as a content creator. And it's for free, you know what I mean? So do it as it really does help me out, okay? And if you give these videos a thumbs up, then it lets me know that you like them and that you're enjoying them. And if you want to see more of them, and just let me know in the comment section, okay? I can get around to making more content on this if you want to see more. And also, if any game suggestions of your own, drop them in the comment section, okay? And I could be playing your favorite game in the future as a future playthrough. So if you've got any really good games that you think will be really good for the channel, that's a little bit of homework for you all, okay? Whilst you're all in quarantine. Find me some good video games to play. Something I could do a good Let's Play on, okay? So you got your homework now. Oh man, this this guy's gone bananas, you know what I mean? He's just flinging them all over the place. Nice. <clears throat> I was going to say, how come they're not opening them? But I was like, oh yeah, the key doesn't go to them. Right, another statue. Lyle. Greetings, Spiral. For an amazing tour of the treetops, don't just stop at one supercharge. Ah. Don't just stop at one supercharge. Okie dokie. Okay, so we've got to speed his way all the way around there. First, let me just collect all these gems that I can see in this area. Man, this looks like it's going to be fun. You ready for this one, boys?
<laughs> no! Man, he just knocked me clean off the level. He shouldn't be doing that. Surely. That is absolute BS. You know what I mean? You shouldn't be doing that. Alright. It's cracking my fingers, boys. It really hurts sometimes. I shouldn't really crack your fingers. Like, if you crack your fingers in general, you really shouldn't do it. But I've had a nag of doing it since I was a kid. You know what I mean? But I advise not to because, you know, it's it comes a thing that, you know, can affect you later on down the line in life. Give you arthritis and stuff. Like, I don't even know if I've got arthritis. I could have arthritis because my hands go a little shaky sometimes. But I've never really gone and checked it out. But I should do. Okay, so that doesn't open. We need something to open that. We should have used the supercharge and gone straight into it. Right. Hmm. Okay, so we can return home. I need one of them lame dragon thief guys. Go away. Oh, I know what we gotta do. I reckon we gotta supercharge all the way down there to get him. Probably out, but. It's alright though. Let's collect what we can, boys, and we'll get out of here. Okay, so we can't open that. Right. Wow, okay. You didn't make that jump. Never mind. See, we can't climb up either. We must have to super jump up there from the supercharge. I think that's the other thing I can think of. That's alright. Let's get out of here, boys. Obviously, in the long run, if you guys would like me to 100% this game, then I'll get around to getting up that area and taking out that dragon egg thief. But, I'll see you If you would like to see 100% completion on this game, let me know. Maybe I'll get around to doing it as a future video and showing you exactly what happens when you get 100% completion. I think there's an alternative ending to this game as well. Like an alternative cutscene if you 100% complete things. Just like how there is in the Crash Bandicoot games. I think there is, but I'm not 100% sure. I cannot remember off the top of my head. Because when I was a kid, when I played the Spyro games, I 100%ed each and every one of the games. Um, but you got to remember, guys, that was such a long time ago. <laughs> you know what I mean? The PS1 days were a long time ago, you know what I mean? But other than that, though, the seat is... I'm enjoying this playthrough. It's just nice to see so many things that I, like, I recognize and very familiar with, just in great detail with such great graphics. And this is such a beautiful remake, you know what I mean? It really is a good remake. And I hope that we do get more Spyro games in the future. You know what I mean? I really hope we do. Because, man, them old games deserve remasters. When you get across there. Absolutely electrifying, bro. Nice. Got another level there. For the time being, we need to get across there, though. So I'm thinking... Can we just jump and glide across? Hang on. I think I know how to get across that other platform. Then we need to get up there. And then glide across. I'm just trying to base it off the distance, you know what I mean? If I've got a higher 
like platform to glide off, I've got more of a chance to land on that platform. That's what my theory is. Whether or not people are, you know, say it's a good theory or not is a completely different story, but that's how I see it. So I'm going to go based off that, so I'm going to fly across there. It's a pretty good glide. Now I'm guessing I can go across the other platform with the other tree trunk over there. And to the next one. And then back onto the area. Give me some treasure, bro. Give me some treasure. Okay, so we need to go around for that one. Unless we can jump up and glide onto it. Oh, I don't think he can. Fair play. I tried it, boys. I tried. Okay? We tried. For some reason, I can't even get back up. Why well, can't I get back up? Come on, bro. I swear I just jumped up before. Hang on. No, I'm an idiot. Yep, I'm an idiot. Should have climbed on that in the first place. Right. This is the last level of this area now, so let's just crack on with it, boys, and get it done. Uh, metalhead. Confronting Metalhead. Okay. Got to keep an eye on the time as well, boys, because I've got to go to work soon. So I'm going to try and get this video done, like render it, and then go to work. And then you guys can see this tomorrow. Probably see this video the next day when I'm at work again. Because that's what I have to do with a lot of videos. A lot of videos. How it works for me as a content creator, um, in case you didn't know, is I have to record a lot of stuff in advance to keep up to date with more regular content because. Obviously, with operating two channels, I have to record loads and loads and loads of videos in front. But some days I got more chill time to make more videos, if that makes sense. So some days I'll get them out there and then on the same day. Some days I have to make more videos for a later point. So it's just one of them things. I have to do that sort of approach just because the fact is I'm a very busy guy when it comes to making content and plus with work and stuff. But I do it all just for you guys at home. Alright. This guy's got bananas again. Alright, um let's get these open. Some more gems. We've got a life up there as well. Could do with getting that to be honest. Always down for an extra life, but we just need to get to it, like, probably get them. Um. Oh my god. We're dead, bro. We're dead. <laughs> We're a sinking dragon. See, what really bugs me is, like, in this game, we can't swim. But in Spyro 2, you learn how to swim. You know what I mean? It would have been good if you could learn how to swim in this game. But. It is what it is. I don't know how the hell I'm going to get up there. Hmm. Huh. going to have to glide off something, surely. It's got to be something. Trying for bananas at me. Are you from Donkey Kong or something? 
Need to make sure we're feeding Sparks as well to keep up our health. We'll just keep an eye on our little dragonfly, okay? Metalhead is all charged up to meet you. Attacking the power pole should disrupt his power supply. Okay. So we've got a boss fight, boys. Gotta take on Metalhead. So what we're gonna, what we need to do, <clears throat> if I remember correctly, is we need to try and goad him to attack his own power generators. And how he does that is when he tries to attack me, if I line myself up with one of the generators and then move whilst he's attacking, he will eventually destroy them all. And then he's gonna have no power. So that's the aim, okay? Because without no power, he can't do nothing. So come at me, bro. Come on, do your worst. Come on, let's see what you're made of. See, I remember this from the original game. Try to flame him, come on. Oh. Yeah, you run away, bro, you run away. Got to do it again now. Come on. Nice. Nice. Easy gems as well. <laughs> I ain't complaining. Come on. Ain't no match for me, Metalhead. I also got the free gems while we're at it. Ooh, got me, got me, got me. Gotta be careful. Come on. Alright. Grab that gem. Last generator now, come on. Nice. But no power supply. Metalhead has been defeated. Ain't no match for us, boys. You know what I mean? It's, he made that too easy. Bro, I remember that boss fight when I was a kid, though. That's how I remember how to do that. But it's pretty much simple. In case you weren't following along properly. All you need to do is just make sure he hits the generators. And then when he hit all the generators, he moves to the next area, does it again. You, you know, you defeated him. It's easy as that. Because these games weren't really built to be difficult, they were just, you know, built to just be a little challenging. Because you got to remember, the original Spyro games, when I was a kid, they were mainly aimed at people who were about my age when I was a kid, so they wouldn't be too difficult. They would be a little challenging, but never too difficult. You know what I mean? So, it was one of them things. But this remake, I find that the remakes of games these days are a little bit more challenging than the originals. Like, there's a lot more to them. It's either that, or over the years of playing other games, you, your mind's just like gone a little bit potato when it comes to the remakes. But we've done all the levels now, so I'm happy with that. So we go back to the uh, to the Beast Maker's world, and then we can go see the Balloonist and get transported over to the next world. So I'm happy with that, boys. Oh, go right back back as well. <sighs> <clears throat> it's, it's just, it feels good just knowing we can just fly through these levels. But, I'm happy with it, boys. I'm happy. So, yeah, if you are enjoying the video, guys, that's all I ask is that, like I said throughout the video, is that if you give it a big fat thumbs up and subscribe if you're new, uh, make sure you turn on the post notification icon. It'll notify you when I upload any new content in the nearby future. So, if you could smash that, sum, that thumbs up button and smash the sub button. I would really, really appreciate it. It helps me out a lot, helps me out a lot as a content creator. Can't get my words out. It really does help me out a lot as a content creator. And also, if you could share my channel with your friends and family, I'd really appreciate it. Jump in the balloon, and I'll show you the Dreamweaver's world. Are you ready to go? I'm always ready to go, bro. 
I just like how he just jumps on his head just to go off to another world. But mission complete, boys. Mission complete. So we've got to go to the Dreamweavers world now. And I think then after that, we've got one more world to do after we've done the Dreamweavers world. And then I think it's the end of the game. I think. I'm not 100% sure. I know it's either one or two more worlds or something like that. I'm sure it's one or two. Um, but I see it as, as long as you enjoyed the videos, that's all that matters. If you'd like me to do Spyro 2 and Spyro 3 in the future, I won't do them straight away, guys, because I want to play other games as well on this channel. But I will get around to doing if you would like to see them. But this world's beautiful. Look at that. It is beautiful, bro. It is beautiful. But anyways, I'm going to bring this video to an end now. So thank you for watching. Please stay safe. Stay awesome. And like I said, smash that thumbs up button if you enjoyed it. Subscribe if you're new. Share it with your friends and family. And I'll see you again next time. Take care and have a marvelous day.